لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك وأتم الحج والعمرة لله and complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah. Assalamu alaikum daily reminder and continuing with our series on what to do after you've completed the rites of Umrah and you're still on your Umrah trip. We talked about making sure that we don't miss even a single Salah in the Masjid, particularly in the Haramain in the Haram in Mecca or the Haram in Medina because the Haram in Mecca, the reward of it praying in congregation there is on top of the reward of praying in congregation a hundred thousand Salah better than a hundred thousand Salah and the reward of praying in the Masjid of the Prophet the Haram in Medina on top of the reward of praying in congregation is a thousand times so that's number one not missing even a single prayer Number two, of course, is making a lot of tawaf because the Prophet said the one who makes tawaf seven times, prays two rakahs, is as if they have freed a slave. Really beautiful incident. The third uh, recommendation, and this is something that we can do while we're making tawaf, while we're sitting waiting for salah in the haram, this is an extremely beautiful action, and that is to make dua to Allah. SWT. Making dua, you can make dua anywhere in the world, of course. But now you're in a special place. You're in the Haram of Mecca. You're in the Masjid of the Prophet. This is a special, these are special places. And the dua in a special place is, you know, there is more merit to it. There is more merit to it. So, and particularly, the Prophet explains to us. He says, Al Ghazi fi Sabilillah. Wal Hajj wal Mu'tamir. Wafdullah. He says, the one who goes out and strides in the way of Allah. And the Hajj, the person who's making Hajj, and the Mu'tamir, the one who's making Umrah. These three people, he says, Wafdullah. They are the guests of Allah. Why are they the guests of Allah? Da'ahum fa'ajabuhu. He called them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invited them to their house. Fa'ajabuhu, so they answered him. And they came to the house. Wasa'aluhu, and they asked him. Who asked him? The one who's making Hajj. The one who's making Umrah. So what did Allah do? فَأَعْطَاهُمْ So He gave it to them. He gave them what they asked. SubhanAllah, so beautiful. Because He called us to His house. He says, وَتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ Complete the Hajj and Umrah for the sake of Allah. We answered the call. And He went to His house. So what did He do to us? He answered our call. When He made dua. It is such a beautiful um, expression. Such a beautiful explanation that the Prophet ﷺ has given us. That we are the guests of the Most Merciful. We are in the Haram. We are in the Masjid of the Prophet. This is the time to make dua. Make dua when you're making tawaf. Make dua after drinking zamzam. Because the Prophet said, Ma uh, zamzam lima shuri balah. That the water of zamzam is for what it is drunk for. So drink water of zamzam and you make dua. This is the time to you know exhaust everything that you want to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That list. You exhaust it and you keep asking, and you keep asking, and you keep asking because the Prophet said, Sa'aluhu fa'a'tahum. They asked him, so he gave it. SubhanAllah, very beautiful. So, this is the, uh, the third thing. Uh, a recommendation that I want to leave all of you with is there's dua, you know, you can make dua for, but for yourself, you can have a dua list. What I recommend is you get a book like the Fortress of the Muslim, like Du'as from the Quran and Sunnah. There, there are books like that that are available. And they list the Du'as that the Prophet used to make. I encourage you to open those books and just read those Du'as and ask Allah for what the Prophet asked him. Ask Allah SWT for what his messenger asked for and by Allah those are the best Du'as. Inshallah in the next video rather of the series, we'll talk about a few more recommendations, inshallah. Jazakum Khair for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.